Our solar system is home to countless rocks screaming through space in different trajectories around the sun. As time passes, the danger of a potential asteroid strike on Earth increases. First of all, there are NEOs and PHAs. NEOs, or near-Earth objects, are asteroids and comets with orbits that bring them to within 120 million miles, 195 million kilometers of the Sun. These rocks can fly around the Earth's orbit neighborhood. While most NEOs have orbits that don't bring them very close to us, a small fraction of them will, and these are the PHAs, short for Potentially Hazardous Asteroids. These fellas require more eyes on them. These asteroids are more than about 460 feet, 140 meters in size, with orbits that bring them as close as 4.6 million miles, 7.5 million kilometers within Earth's orbit around the Sun. NASA maintains a list of the potential future Earth impact events that the Jet Propulsion Laboratory Sentry System has detected based on currently available observations. Sentry is a highly automated collision monitoring system that constantly scans the most current asteroid catalog for possibilities of future impact with Earth. Today, we're going to talk about two of the most dangerous candidates classified as potentially hazardous asteroids. The first one is asteroid 101955 Bennu, which is a mean diameter of 1,610 feet, 490 meters, a bit bigger than the Empire State Building. In 2020, NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft successfully touched the surface of Bennu and collected rocky material during its touch-and-go sample collection maneuver. NASA's team later successfully stored the sample in the sample return capsule, and the spacecraft is now headed to Earth to deliver the asteroid sample on September 24, 2023. The spacecraft has already made careful measurements to refine our predictions for how likely it is that the asteroid Bennu will strike Earth. NASA can predict Bennu's path in detail out to the year 2135. That's when the asteroid will pass by Earth, and it might be a visit to remember. Earth's gravity could change its trajectory such that on a future approach, Bennu could hit us instead of simply passing by. However, despite a slightly higher chance of impact, Bennu is 99.9% .9 likely not to crash into the Earth anytime soon. Experts have confirmed that the earliest likely impact will be September 24, 2182, with the asteroid having a 1 in 2700 chance of striking our planet. The second most dangerous candidate is asteroid 29075-1950DA about two-thirds of a mile, 1.1 kilometers across. This stony monster has a chance of impacting Earth on March 16, 2880. The asteroid was discovered in 1960. However, it took us 40 years to spot it again, and this time scientists were able to collect high-precision radar measurements. This data predicted an initial impact probability of 1 in 300. Keep in mind that there are asteroids that have a higher impact probability than 1 in 300, but all of them have a diameter of fewer than 10 meters and are not considered dangerous. According to NASA, any rock larger than 25 meters, but smaller than 1 kilometer, a little more than half a mile, would likely cause local damage to the impact area. But the asteroid would need to be larger than 1 to 2 kilometers to have worldwide effects. But back to asteroid 1950DA. Since the last prediction of 1 in 300, experts have continued to refine the prediction, and based on all available data up until December 2021, the impact probability was reduced to 1 in 50,000. That's good news for our descendants. So the likelihood of a catastrophic asteroid collision is incredibly low, but this is based on the data we have for asteroids that we've already discovered. The real threat could come from the ones that we don't even know exist yet. However, space agencies around the world are continuously working on defense mechanisms. Just recently, NASA smashed its DART spacecraft into Dimorphos asteroid. The DART mission was designed to test a planetary defense technique that could be used if we ever find a huge rock hurtling toward us. There are a couple of ways we could deal with these rocks. You're probably thinking, nuke them. Well, sending explosives on an asteroid could create smaller pieces that could be even more catastrophic, let alone more difficult to track. 
Smarter solutions include sending a spacecraft that could throw a rope around the asteroid to tow it away. Another way is to use a spacecraft as a gravity tractor, which could slowly divert the asteroid. Then there's the more artistic idea, which includes painting one side of the asteroid white so that it reflects more heat away. This would make a tiny shift in the direction the asteroid travels, eventually changing its trajectory. What about attaching a solar sail? This idea is similar to painting the asteroid white. It would cause the asteroid to reflect more light, thus making it shift its course. And lastly, we can shoot lasers at it, which would heat the asteroid surface and change its trajectory. However, the world needs to become more united and nations need to act as one in order for us to create better technology to monitor these dangerous rocks and deal with them in the future. But the biggest threat to development, global health, and the whole of humanity at the moment is global warming, which is causing hotter temperatures, more severe storms, increased droughts and sea levels, loss of species, food shortages, more health risks, poverty, displacement, and much more. So it's a responsibility for every one of us to talk about this as much as we can, and not just talk about it, but act on it. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.